Okay, so last week I was asked to make a sliding menu example uh, that actually fully functioned as a sliding menu example. Um, so that means that the items on the list in the left hand column actually do something. Uh, so I basically took it from my uh, pharmacy calculating app. Uh, I imported bits and pieces of it and I created a nice little example. Um, I already had this example going um, and I believe I posted on it. Um, so it's basically I have this base activity which is a sliding fragment activity. Um, I'm going to be providing this so just be on the lookout for this. And uh, I have also have um, my main activity which extends the base activity so it's going to be extending that sliding menu activity and also a, a key part of that is going to be the switch content and I'll show you why in a little bit um, also this will run on uh, older devices so I'm also using action bar Sherlock as well as the sliding menu library um, and uh, I just created five fragments that don't do anything but display a text um, they inflate this layout and each layout has a uh, text that says you know item one item two item three in the in the right in the middle of it so if I here's item two it just says item two in the middle so all this app is going to do is when you open it it's going to greet you with a hello world or whatever I have on there on this main view uh, believe that's this one so yeah it's going to show you hello world as the text and it's going to replace that with the items that you select from the list now the way you do that is here's the list fragment now you'll notice I'm not using Sherlock uh, list fragment you don't have to um, all you have to do to incorporate it is use the regular support library fragments as you can see Android support um, version 4 app list fragment um, here's the list that was already there um, I didn't change anything with this but the only thing I really added was this um, on list item click and uh, switch content so what I did was is we're gonna create a just say the default menu fragment um, a new fragment is this main view um, it's not actually do anything we can set this to null or anything whatever we want but to keep it consistent with how the app actually looks like it works I switched it to main view since that's the hello world one um, so we're setting it as the default being that um, then uh, we're setting up a fragment manager which we're using action bar Sherlock uh, or actually the support library so we're going to do get fragment manager um, now this is a switch clause meaning we want to get the position that we're selecting on the list and we're going to do something for every position on that list uh, if I left some of this out it would just do nothing at that position or it might crash I believe it will just do nothing I'm not hundred percent sure but one thing you'll notice is that the position starts at zero not one and this is a, a Java numbering system you always start at zero so like the month zero is actually January month 11 is December so um, this is consistent throughout all of Java this is a Java thing as why you don't start at one you start at zero uh, so the we're gonna say that when we select one this new fragment is actually gonna be item one or item two or item three depending on which item we select now we know that we have five items on the list so we are gonna have five cases now it is also important to add, include this break because that's how uh, the switch clause actually knows that you're done doing whatever you want to do for that list item click let's say we also wanted to do a pop-up or uh, toast we can add that here uh, you could say toast you know um, uh, we you've launched blah 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 you can add that here on the inside the case and it'll do all that once you select the item on on the on the list 
So here's also an important little um, bit of code. Now, once we've selected something, this new fragment is not going to be null anymore. So we want it to do something. So we want it to do the switch, con switch content. And that's actually in your main activity um, that I've already posted. That's this bit of code. It's calling, uh, let's see, switch content. And we're going to be replacing the, the sliding menu and uh, sliding it back closed. So that's all this does. So that's what that is doing. And then we want to actually replace the stuff that's on the screen with whatever we selected. So when we run this, oh, so we do that by doing uh, doing a fragment transaction. Uh, begin transaction, replace the content frame. We're doing this by ID, not by layout, uh, with this new fragment, as you can see here. And uh, we're also adding a little uh, transition. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Um, I, usually, I can't really see it in my app, even though I have it in there. Uh, we're going to ignore that. We're going to launch Nexus. So when we, and it's also whenever you have a fragment transaction, you have to close it by committing it. Um, just like if you're doing a toast, you have to put show. Um, actually, I think they took that out on the latest um, version of the tools, but you still have to do it for older versions of Android. Uh, so just do it. So here's our our app now. You'll see that it uh, displays the hello world as the default. Now when we select an item on the list, it closes the menu and replaces the item with the item that we selected. We select 5, it puts 5. We select 3, it selects 3. Now the reason why I don't think you can really see this transition too well is because at the same time that it's transitioning the old fragment off, it's sliding so um, I don't think it's really all that useful to add this bit you can take this out if you want to it does really nothing I don't really think all that significant for this code um, so yeah here's the sliding menu and hope you enjoy this and I'll be posting